More often than not, big blue hammers are shipped without the cylinder attached. In this video, we will go over the quick and simple process required to attach the cylinder and get your new big blue hammer ready to use. The tools required for this are as follows. A 9 16 inch wrench, a 5 16 Allen key driver, a 3 8 Allen key driver, and a torque wrench capable of 135 foot-pounds of torque. It is convenient if you also have a 5 16 Allen key on hand, a ratchet, and a second torque wrench for this task since you have two different torque settings. You will want to start by removing the cylinder block out of the way by taking out the two half inch bolts that hold it and the cylinder rod retaining clip in. Once the cylinder block has been removed, place the cylinder on top of the hammer. You want to make sure you remove any tape or plugs covering the ports on the cylinder. Next, you will notice that on the top shelf of the hammer, where the base of the cylinder sets, there should be a set of scribed lines. These lines indicate the resting place that the cylinder held at the time it was first tuned. Place the cylinder on these lines and gently snug the bolts that hold it in. Now pull the cylinder rod down and thread on the cylinder block until it is tight. Then loosen it just enough that the cut flats on the cylinder shaft are in line with the long side of the cylinder block. Make sure the cylinder shaft is not sticking out of the bottom of the cylinder block. If the bolt holes don't line up exactly, then loosen the bolts that hold on the cylinder's head to the power hammer shelf just enough to be able to get the bolts into the cylinder block. If you have loosened the cylinder from the shelf, then at this time realign it with the scribe mark on the shelf. Now that everything is set in its place, take the torque wrench and set it to 40 foot-pounds and torque the bolts holding the cylinder base and the power hammer shelf together, making sure to check each one twice. Next. Torque the two bolts that tie the cylinder block and head together. These bolts should be torqued to 135 foot-pounds and each one should be checked twice. It is best to check these bolts once more after your first day of forging. All that is left now is to connect the hoses to the cylinder. Once this is done, your hammer is ready to use. In the description below, we will link some other relevant videos for first-time hammer users and people setting up their hammers for the first time. Thank you, and subscribe to keep up with what is new with Blue.